Oh. <laughs> oh whew, sorry about that. Didn't see you walk up, but hello there. And welcome back, bienvenidos, to Los Buzos Resort and Fishing Lodge here in beautiful Cambutal, Panama. On the Pacific coast, at the end of the road, in the jungle, where bucket lists get shorter and fishermen's dreams quite literally come true. My name is Robert Field. I am a former client of the lodge and now a guest guide. I'm out here three times a year for two weeks each time, taking a dozen clients out to chase incredibly massive and beautiful fish from kayaks. Talking rooster fish, Kubera snapper, Wahoo, Sierra mackerel, broomtail grouper, Pacific sailfish, and even black marlin. We're here in the rainy season. This is a deciduous dry forest and half the year it does not rain at all. And the other half of the year it rains at least a little bit just about every single day. We got a break in the weather and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to give you guys a little tour of the facility here, both the fishing side and the accommodations. We are constantly improving this place. It has evolved tremendously in the last three years I've been coming here. We are constantly building and improving. I want to show you guys what this place is like so you can get an idea what spending a week like here might be like off the water. So come along, come with me. I will show you the way. So these are our neighbors at Cantina Dulce. That's uh, basically the sweet cantina. Great people over there and the family that owns it, their son, Adriano, he actually runs the three pangas that we use to mothership kayaks in different parts of the coast. We also have one out here as a help boat just in case we ever need it. They run around helping catch bait, helping all the clients. And uh, these captains here, they know more than any weatherman, any oceanographer, meteorologist. They were born and raised here and they know the ocean better than anyone. And we rely on them heavily to let us know what's going on out there. But yeah, follow me, we'll go check out the tackle room, the kayak barn, and some of the rooms that uh, you, the clients, would be staying in. So here at Los Buzos, you do not need to bring your own kayak. We have an entire fleet of fishing kayaks that are decked out. They're perfect for these waters offshore here on Panama's Pacific coast. We've got 12 Hobie Outbacks. I think we've got four or five Jackson kayaks. We got a mix of those, some pedal drive, some paddle. And then we just picked up two Lightning kayaks. which is actually a kayak that I designed myself. It's my first time using them out here and they've been doing great all last week with the last group of clients. We've got everything you need. Every kayak comes out fitted with a fish finder, a Garmin fish finder. You got a spear gaff for when you catch inevitably some delicious tasting fish. We've got rail blaze accessories all over them, camera booms and rod holders, whatever you need. Pliers, a knife, you got a crate to store your gear and you'll also be decked out and an NRS Chinook OS, that's the offshore version of probably the most popular fishing PFD on the planet. Got tons of storage and it'll keep you safe in the unlikely but possible scenario where a gigantic rooster fish pulls you overboard. It's only happened a couple times. Woo! Oh! We also provide a rod leash for every single rod so that in the unlikely event that you end up upside down or uh, Whatever the case may be, a giant fish rips the rod out of your hand. It's not going to go to the bottom of the ocean. Welcome to Panama! If you lose it because it wasn't leashed, that's on you. But if the, you had the leash on it, we will not make you responsible for any lost gear. Here we've got Adam Fisk. He's the head of operations here at the lodge. What's up guys? He uh, came here with me on the very first trip that clients ever came here. We came here as clients. We both fell in love with the place. Him even more so than me. He moved out here full time and now he uh, has been putting people on fish of a lifetime all year round for the last three or four years. And this guy has the unofficial largest black marlin, largest marlin ever caught from a kayak and landed a 450 pound estimated black marlin one of the more insane catches I've ever heard of, boat, kayak, you name it. This guy's the man. He told me when he moved out here, he was gonna get a marlin and he did just that. And not only does he run the place and put everyone on fish and catch bait for everyone, but he also is hosing down the kayaks. This guy does it all. You gotta work hard. <laughs> Derrett is our other guide. He's out catching bait right now. You didn't get to meet him, but he's an incredible fisherman. He came here and just started knocking the socks off some incredible fish. He got a gigantic Kubera his first couple weeks here on a popper, bigger than anyone I've ever caught. He also beat the King Cock record. Biggest rooster fish ever landed at Los Buzos. I believe that was also on a popper. This guy can fish. He's out there right now catching bait so that when the clients get here, we've got some ready. We got a pen that's sank out in the bay. 
So here we've got the tackle room. This is where we keep all the tackle, the rods, the reels. It's where we charge the batteries for the fish finders, for the radios. We use VHF radios out here to stay in communication with each other. Uh, we're out there talking all day. You're never alone here at Los Buzos, for better or worse. Uh, but you can see here, we've got all the rods and reels. Like I said, we got clients coming in about 45 minutes. Most of them have rented the tackle package. I always say, just rent it. If you're dead set on bringing your own rods and reels, I understand everyone has their own setups that they're comfortable with. But we know this fishery better than anyone. We have had it, we've dialed it in over the years. And we know exactly what you need to catch fish out here and to be successful. So it's up to you, but I recommend just rent the tackle package. It'll end up usually being cheaper than the baggage fees for flying your rods out here. But you can see here, basically we get three combos, one for catching bait, which oftentimes ends up catching stuff much bigger, one for trolling divers or throwing poppers, and one for running live bait. We use gigantic live baits out here. It's actually crazy. My first time here, I thought they were messing with me when they told me to put an eight pound bonita on for bait. But that's what we do behind the kayaks and you'd be surprised what'll eat these gigantic baits. And then in here in the back room, we've just got some kind of miscellaneous tackle that we use as guides to get everything set up. Tons of line, we've got a ton of diamond braid. We love that stuff. It does extremely well out here, extremely reliable. This is sort of the lure graveyard, stuff that people rented and didn't want to take home that we won't uh, sell to you, but we use them as guides. I usually come in here and, and kind of uh, ravage this room when I show up because I have special privileges. And yeah, spare drives, spare paddles, spare gaffs. So up here we've got the tackle shop. We sell all the stuff you need to catch fish here. If you want to bring your own tackle, of course, you're more than welcome to. But we sell everything. It's at U.S. prices, without sales tax, without shipping. And it's all the stuff that we know works here. So if you're not sure what to fish with out here, you can watch my videos. You'll learn a lot. But at the same time, you can buy it all when you get here. It's all the fair prices from the U.S. And again, Everything that we've ever consistently caught fish on is sold right here. Here we've got the Panga Bar, great place to hang out, right here in our front yard, overlooking the ocean, right where we're fishing. Great place to enjoy a cold cerveza, swap fish stories, lie to people about that giant wahoo that cut you off that was probably just a little baby shark. Here we've got Adam's Toyota Tacoma, which may be the smelliest car I've ever been inside of, but he brought it here from the United States in order to drag our kayaks down every morning. Back when I first started here as a guide, we had to drag 12 kayaks up and down the beach by hand, up and down after long days of fishing. Did that for about two years and finally said, I've had enough, we gotta figure out something. So now we've got a trailer. We found a trailer in Panama City, brought it out here to the jungle, and that's how we get the kayaks down in the mornings now, much easier. Here we've got some of the, the local pongas out there. That's one of Adriano's pongas. Actually, right now you can see there's a panga coming in. Hard to tell, but that appears to possibly be Pio or Richard Baria, who uh, helps run some of our trips. These pongas are super simple boats, but they get the job done. They can take three kayaks out, most of them, some of them just two. They are bulletproof. I have seen them washed up on this beach after rough storms overnight. Motor in 10 pieces, but these two strokes, these locals are wizards and, you know, a couple toenail clippings, stick of gum, and a little piece of string and they got that thing running again the next day. They are, uh, it's incredible what they're able to do, how resourceful they are being out here in the jungle with extremely limited resources. Over here, we've got the fish cleaning station, which is still a work in progress, but it's been doing a great job so far. This thing gets used every single day. I do not remember ever going out and not coming back with good fish to eat. Some of our more popular eating fish are yellowfin tuna, of course, the Sierra mackerel here, they look like Spanish mackerel that I'm familiar with back in the States, but much more delicious. The broomtail grouper are amazing. Of course, we catch wahoo, we catch mahi, we catch bohalo or almaco jacks. Now, almaco jacks and amber jacks back in the States typically have worms here. I don't know if it's because of the Pacific or what the difference is, but they never have worms and they are one of the tastiest fish out here. We catch several species of smaller snapper, which we sometimes fry whole, sometimes we fillet them. We catch bluefin trevally and diamond trevally, which are also both good to eat. There are a ton of good eating fish. The rooster fish, we never kill. We always let those go. They are just beautiful and they're not that good. And we catch way too many delicious fish to kill those rooster fish. Rooster fish have quickly become my favorite fish on the planet. We do not kill the Kubera snappers either. Once they get pretty big, they're not that good. And uh, they are usually high on people's lists. And we want to keep them out there so you can come out here and catch them. We also never keep sailfish, Pacific sailfish. And of course, the black marlin was released unharmed. We try hard not to keep more fish than we need for our groups. But in the unlikely case that we can't finish it all, we help feed the locals. This town, which is a strong word, I would 
probably call it a village. There is no grocery store. Uh, closest grocery store is an hour. And we like to help share fish with our neighbors whenever we can. So they've got some fresh protein, lean protein, organic protein. They know exactly where the fish has been since it lost its life. And typically we're eating fish that was swimming earlier that day. Here's one of the communal bathroom areas. Pretty simple. Got a couple basic showers, a toilet, a sink. This serves these two rooms right over here, close to the tackle shop. These two rooms are also relatively simple. Simple bunk rooms whenever we can. We like to just put one person in here. Last week we just had one person in here and I believe the same is true for this week. But you won't be spending much time in there. You'll just sleep in there. The rest of the time you'll be hanging out with us, drinking cervezas. There is unlimited beer here for free. It's included in the price. This place is all inclusive, all your meals, all the beer you can drink. And we've had many clients say they were gonna to try to drink us out of business. And uh, so far everybody has failed, but I invite you to come out and give it a shot. And here we go. To the brim, ready to go. We got clients showing up in about 30 minutes now. They'll be digging in that right away, I am sure. We got a smoker here, which we occasionally use to smoke fish. Certain fish here are delicious smoked. Then walking over this way, we've got kind of the hangout area, if you will. It's also the kitchen. This is where we serve dinner. It's where we serve appetizers, usually yellowfin sashimi, hummus or guacamole or all three, all kinds of stuff. This is our King Cock Trophy where we list the 10 biggest rooster fish ever caught at the lodge. I once upon a time was on there twice when it was only five people. Now I'm on there once. I keep getting bumped off by clients. I got to get out there and get a bigger one. This is kind of our typical chill area. We got some hammocks, some couches. It's outdoors. We got this beautiful woven, I don't remember what it's called, roof. Very authentic looking place. Such a cool vibe, chill vibe. This is where we hang out overlooking the ocean. Here's another one of the rooms that the clients stay in. This is kind of a bunk style room where we can sleep up to six people and six bunks. So if you got a bunch of buddies, bring them with you. We can put you all in the same room. You can listen to each other's snore and smell each other's bodily gases. It's got its own bathroom, super nice. Couple showers, just beautiful in here. I love the style. It's all native wood, very rustic. Here we got Adam with the mahi. A client with a rooster. There's pictures of people with epic fish all over the place. We ran out of room. Couldn't fit anymore if we wanted to. Here we've got Jesse. Jesse handles the marketing and the sales for Los Buzos here. So probably if you email info at losbuzos.com to get more information, to book a trip, to come out here and fish with me or with the guides, he's gonna be replying to your email, typically same day, maybe the next day. If he doesn't, you can complain to our HR department, which coincidentally also happens to be Jesse. But, uh, he does an incredible job. This place has changed dramatically since he got here. We're way more organized, but great guy. He does come fishing with us also. Typically when he comes fishing with us, we don't catch any fish, but. My main man, Jesse here. All the clients have live baits and he's uh, got another one is kind enough to give it to me. Thanks, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So coming over here on the other side of the chill area, we've got the casita which is uh, kind of another separate living quarters. You can get a couple people in here. This is good for couples. We can fit three guys if you're coming with a couple buddies. Pretty simple, like all the other rooms, but nice bunk bed, the bottom bed's bigger, so you guys can rock, paper, scissors for it. But it's got its own shower, sink, bathroom, the works, AC, of course, and quite the view out here to the ocean, right in front of our lodge. Speaking of AC, that's one thing I've always said about this place is it's the perfect combination of the authentic experience. Like I said, we are out in the jungle, right on the beach, at the end of the road. Past us is a national reserve. There's nothing out there. We are far from Panama City. We bus you guys out here on a chartered bus with your groups. You can get, spend some time getting to know them. That's all included in the price as well. And at the same time, it's authentic. We're out here. You really feel like you're on an adventure, but we do have Wi-Fi as long as the Howler monkeys don't take down the lines. And we do have AC, power, running water. You can drink the water. The owner dug the wells himself. The town is extremely safe. You can come here, no worries. We don't lock our doors. In fact, we leave the keys in our cars most of the time. It is no problem. The people here are good. They all know us. We've got cameras everywhere just in case, and they know that. Milo, our newest, in our newest intern, seems to be upset about something. Que pasa? How could anyone rob us with this ferocious guard dog? Milito, que pasa amigo? But in there we've got the kitchen, it's where we serve dinner. A wonderful woman named Sophie cooks all our meals, she caters our meals, she comes here and cooks up some of the most gourmet, delicious food I've ever had. It is almost always fresh fish. As long as you guys are catching fish, which you will be, do not fear. And here she is, the woman of the hour, the real MVP, Miss Sophie. 
cooking us dinner. She's always everybody's favorite person because she keeps us fed. It's a five star restaurant quality food. It's not a joke, not an exaggeration. I love you, thank you. That's where we do the dishes, pretty, pretty riveting. So yeah guys, that's kind of the quick and dirty tour of Los Buzos Resort here in Cambutal, Panama. I would say my favorite place on the planet to fish and I've been to quite a few of them. Not just the fishing, just the entire experience hanging out in this place out here in the jungle with a bunch of guys you don't know, but you will get to know them. Everyone leaves here, very good friends, and I still stay in touch with most of the clients for a long time afterwards. But if you would like more information or to book a trip, if you'd like to come out here, you can come on one of my weeks. I'm here six weeks a year, but whether or not you come when I'm here, you will be taken care of. The guides here are incredible. The fishing is always good. Sometimes it's phenomenal, sometimes it's life-changing, but it is always good. So if you'd like to book a trip, shoot an email to info at losbuzos.com. Jesse will get back to you, give you all the information, send you everything you need to know to start planning your trip. This is the most affordable fishing trip of its kind that I have ever heard of by about half. I keep telling them to raise the price. You should book a trip before they start listening to me and raise the price. It is an incredible value. And while fishing is never a guarantee, I do guarantee that you will be talking about this trip for the rest of your life. But for now, guys, I'm Robert Field. I gotta get out of here. We got clients showing up in about 10 minutes. I gotta go get ready. We're gonna meet these guys, see how they do, and go put them on some epic fish starting tomorrow. We've got five days of fishing. The bite should be incredible. It's gonna be good. Congratulations! Oh my god, dude. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> what? what the Look at that!